Okay, thank you very much for coming, all of you. It is a pleasure to be here. Uh, mine will be the first speaking, and it's going to be a very introductory uh, about video games. So thank you again for coming. Hmm. Okay, so what is a video game is the title of, of my presentation. But uh, I, I, I realized that it, it was a silly question, and it wasn't um, a very appropriate question because I discovered that the answer is far more complicated than you would expect. Uh, first of all, the name of video game is not very accurate because some of what we know as video games are even for blind people, so they don't have this visual component. But uh, looking for a definition that we can use, uh, a video game is a game, something that, uh, which we play with, uh, that uses some electronical device. Okay. But when I tell you what is the difference, this is the first thing that comes to your mind. So what is he doing? This is an, an image that we find uh, many times. And even though we know the short answer, which is he's playing video games, we don't know a, a, a more deep, we cannot provide a deeper um, explanation of what is exactly what is he doing. We tend to think that he's doing nothing, that he's just standing, uh, losing time. So uh, apart from the good things that we are going to, uh, to talk here, good things about video games, what negative things do you think, uh, or what negative things do you, uh, come to your mind when uh, when you see a kid like like that, brainstorming. Anything? People think it's a waste of time. It's a waste of time. That is a very common idea. And uh, what else? Uh, what if instead of looking this kid, you will find a 65-year-old lady? Would you think? Would you be as uh, surprised? No, not really, right? This is something that we are. We associate with what? With adults or with kids? We tend to associate with kids, that's it. So that is one of the first myths, myths that we want to get rid of it. Uh, we will see that it's not as simple. And the same, it's a thing that we consider for boys. Girls are not associated uh, at the first impression with, with video games. And the same, look at this, video games are antisocial. This uh, little boy, instead of playing, he, he could have been, I don't know, making friends, for example. Uh, and video games make you dumber. That is something that my father used to tell me, that don't play too much because, it, you know, it makes you dumber. And they foment illiteracy. You, you should, a boy should be reading, not playing video games. They should be reading. Or that make us more violent. They make us aggressive. Don't play that. That's going to make a, a killer of, of you. Or that they lead to attention problems. Well, this is related to making you dumber. And that is bad, bad for your sight. That makes you, your, uh, your sight worse. So let's start with the first question. How old is the average video game? What would you think? Chris, what do you think? How old is the average video game? video gamer? 10 or 12 years old, maybe? 10 or 2 years old, would you write that? Would you write that? Wouldn't it? 10, 12 years old. OK, according to statistics in America, the average gamer is 35 years old. So I think it's time to get rid of some prejudices that we have about uh, video games and its place in society. Let's look about women and men. How many, how many women play video games? What is the proportion? Would you say 50-50? Christina? 37. Uh, 37. Actually, you are not very far from reality. In America, 40% of, of gamers, of video game players, are women. So men st is still a majority, but I think it's time to it, we shouldn't be. Um, we, we shouldn't say that video games are only for boys, only for men. Here you have some statistics. In America, 58 people, 
58% of the population plays video games. That is counting from babies in the cradle to, to old people. 58% uh, of America play video games. 68% of adults, so actually uh, it is a bigger percentage if you count ag adults. It is even higher if you count only heads of households. And of course, as, as you may guess, young people play video games. Almost virtually everybody play video games. If you are a kid, you know. And let's see if they are antisocial, because th that is something that concerns many people. Here you have some statistics. 20, 21 percentage of, of, of players, people who play video games, 21 percentage play always online in a sort of game which is called uh, MMOGs or MMORPGs, that is massive multiplayer, multiplayer games. Um, a 40 percentage of Facebook activity is you social gaming. Do you know Farmville? Does anybody play it? More people play Farmville than Twitter's accounts. So there are more Farmville players than uh, Twitter accounts. So lots of people play video games and they play, they play together. By the way, a 60, uh, 65 percentage of video games play with other people in the same room. And in general, uh, summing everything up, uh, 76 percentage uh, percent of uh, of people play with some other in some way. So I know the question of do video games cripple our children in any way? They make you dumber, worse eyesight, and the question is not quite sure. Uh, there, ha there has been many research. I, I would like to share this professor, Daphne Bavelier from University of Geneva. Of the, um, she, ha she has a lab and she doesn't only guess. I mean, she has a lab and she puts people in the lab and measure their abilities and they give uh, video game training. And this is their, the results that, that she has. She has a, an, an amazing website. Um, she has uh, seen positive effects in visual perception, focused attention, and divided attention, that is multitasking. So no, uh, they don't make us dumber, and uh, you, you will see that video games are intellectual objects that demand a lot of attention and a lot of uh, cognitive cognitive uh, um, uh, skills. So we will see, as uh, Fran will, will tell us, that it, the, the answer is no. And they don't make us more violent, as Tim will, will, will discuss. And no, they don't foment illiteracy, as uh, Alba will uh, discuss. So are, are, are video games popular? That is a question. I mean, yeah, we know that many people play it, but what about its social status? Are they considered popular? Take, for example, the biggest blockbuster of the film industry, Avatar. I guess many people in this room have seen it. You wouldn't be surprised that Avatar sold 77 million over its opening weekend. 77 million over its opening. What do you think, compared to a big block, the biggest blockbuster in the video game industry, what do you think? It's going to be more, it's going to be less? What do you think? It's going to be more, right? Okay, you would be surprised that it is far more. We are talking about one billion within its first three days. It is not only more, it, we are talking about a different scale. So yes, video games are popular. The difference would, that we would find is that they don't share the same social status. As I told you, video games have prejudice on it, and even though the numbers, you will, you will associate it with toys, uh, children, waste of time, and so on, while the film industry is kind of more acceptable. Um, I would like to share these three books. They are not from people from the academia, but very inspiring, nonetheless, especially uh, Jane McGulligan's 
reality is broken has really changed my, my view on this topic. So I would really want to, uh, to share you. Just summarize that the video game industry is the biggest entertainment industry. It is um, a 25 uh, billion uh, industry, which is far bigger than the film industry and the music in industry. And we are talking about in, within the United States. We are not talking about um, worldwide economy. Uh, very briefly, I want to discuss that the process of making a video game, what is, an, what, what makes a video game a video game, is a slightly more complicated than what you would find in a book, where there is some author or person doing the game, a publisher, retailers or distribution, and a public. Actually, it's far more complicated because the, all, every sector in the video game indus industry are related and now are very there are a lot of uh, over overlapping especially the development process this is not a guy i mean a, a person doing a video game it requires many 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 people and a lot of money no, uh, normally to to produce a video game from technology and it requires rd and it, so it's, it's, it's slightly different because it, it is there is a mixture of technology and art so um, technology, produ production, artwork, including visual, uh, music, verbal, game design, which is a separate category, category and software and, and middleware design. So we are talking about a far more complex uh, procedure. So if, you, we, if we want to study video games or understand a small part of it, uh, you need far more than playing a video game or looking at the game. It happens to me with football. Something very similar happens to me with football. The place where I am, soccer, we call it football, um, it is very popular. So everybody asks me, hey, do you like football? And my answer is no, because I don't understand it. I, I know nothing about football. So they, they tell me, no, but it's so simple. You, know, you take 11 players, 11 players, you kick, there is a goal if you put the ball here. I mean, the rules are so simple. What, what am I missing? I'm missing everything. I'm missing a concept, which is the teams, that the players, everybody knows these two, these two people. I'm losing metagame. And metagame in, in a video game is everything. The cultural impact, the people supporting it, the criticism, the, the, the developers, the, 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 the publishers. It is far bigger, so you cannot just focus on the CD. You, you have to, to, to take a larger picture. So media, Metagame involves a myriad of different platforms or, um, or aspects in social life, from uh, new ways of distribution to the eSport phenomena that, is going to, uh, that Fran is going to discuss, forums, wikias, like pages like Wikipedia, specialized only in video games, and even people or other websites that uh, take a position in order to f fight for their medium. So many, many websites like this one, they, they stand for um, a better representation of video games in society. So let's talk about the concept that everybody talks about, which, which is the video game revolution. And this video game revolution has three aspects, three main uh, aspects. Uh, chiefly, there is a demographic revolution. As I told you, the, uh, as we saw, um, all these demographics are changing. And we are going to, we are start changing. We, we, we have started changing from this to this. Because people who play video game, they don't really kick the habit when they when they grow up. Um, there is also a, dis, um, a distribution revolution, and Fran will be talking about this. And this revolution consists in the in the in the way that video games are distributed in society and the place it gathers. We have come from uh, physical platforms to. Uh, several other ways of distributing or playing video games. So video games are changing in the way they are 
distributed. And also there is an academic revolution. Uh, right now, we will see uh, far more discussions about video games in the academy, and the number are, is increasing. Um, and, uh, and a new phenomena has started game schools. People, for the first time in history, people are going to uh, the academia to learn how to make video games. And that means a lot. That means that um, in a few years, uh, it's, it's going to have a different uh, degree in its prestige. And that people have the opportunity to research or to investigate or to, or to be far more uh, to take uh, bigger risks by um, in an in a environment that allows uh, innovation, which is uh, uh, game schools. So these are the, one of the most popular or most prestigious university where they teach how to make video games. Um, okay, so where can we uh, learn uh, game studies? Game studies, uh, from the humanistic point of view, are being taught right now in many universities, from the, uh, just from the humanistic point of view. And these are uh, very famous examples of um, video games, not only studied in their social aspect, but even in their artistic uh, implications. So um, in addition, uh, we have colleges that study only the, the game-based uh, learnings. And I will be discussing about this later, and Alba, uh, and Alba as well. So these are centers, uh, Purdue, uh, Wharton School in, at DuPen, uh, University of Washington. So schools that teach how to use video game in order to teach, video game-based uh, teaching. So basically, to sum up, uh, this video game, what really means? What, 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 what it, we have seen that it consists in a demographic revolution, in a distribution revolution, and in an academic revolution. But it really means that video games are going to, to change their social status. Uh, this is a, a picture from this website, uh, Extra Credit. This is one that defends, um, its only purpose is to, to stand for their medium and to be uh, social acceptable video games being as social uh, acceptable. So with this, I, um, I start the symposium. I really thank you for, for your participation and for coming. I know it's some Valentine's on a Friday, so I really appreciate your, your effort. Um, OK, do, you have, um, do we have questions or issues? Or since we are not uh, running out of time, we could uh, we couldn't, uh, go on from the next one. Okay?